So what's up everyone, it's your boy here, Abdurrahim, back again with another great, amazing tech video. These are the real highlights from CES 2019 and the source is The Verge. Now, before we get started, just know that you have to just grab that guy, the popcorn. I don't know what you gotta grab, but something which is sweet because tech is about to blow your mind. So, far info, let us just get started. This is the Razer Raptor Gaming Monitor. Now, in a different kind of perspective, we've seen a lot of monitors of Razer. Some of them they're so great, and some of them they're so sweet, and we have seen it in a different kind of perspective. But this Razer Gaming Monitor, it's a killer. What do I call it a killer? First of all, it has a matte display. It doesn't have a reflective display whereby well, so you can see somebody coming at the whenever you're using it. You know, there's a kind of reflective like a mirror. You see it a little bit underneath it, but this one has a matte display. Now, 27 inch display gives you those kind of wide scheme. I can call them on the uh, look because you have a wide screen whereby you can look in a different kind of position and remember guys this has a little bit of smaller bezel less i can call it because it's not that much occupied with the, uh that kind of bezel but it's so nice another kind of stuff it's 25 by 60 and 1440 as a resolution of it which to my own aspect i give it go because it's so nice so it's supposed to have those kind of resolution and it's supposed a 4k monitor but there's things which they're not that much kind of great when it comes to nvidia you all know that this supports amd uh sync but when it comes to nvidia this kind of stuff won't support a uh, nvidia g sync so for all the nvidia people i'm really really sorry for you guys but worry not still you can connect the the, the monitor and things gonna work out the way they're supposed to so this is the monitor of razor and something which captured me in another kind of way is the chroma now we have seen a lot of chroma the lightning of the keyboard the lightning everywhere now razor decided to put lightning everywhere and now i like the lighting because you're in the dark room and you have this kind of piece of tech you'll just get surprised with what the colors it does and something which is so great it depends with the hardware which you are using it like i mean whenever you connect it with the pc if you're playing a game i think the chroma makes sense because they'll be glowing and showing you the action thing to the second piece of tech which captured me in a different perspective it's lg rollable tv now tv has become something which a lot of people sometimes they don't watch TVs because they got they got smartphones with them, so it's like less watching on the display. But when it comes to LG, this round they nailed it. Now that kind of project which you have seen it in a couple of years on the CES, it was a rollable TV. Now it's coming in a real product. Now this is not a prototype anymore. This is a real product. Now the LG rollable TV gives you those kind of feel whereby you may watch a TV and the TV just comes up like this way, and whenever you're not around on the TV the TV just rolls out its own self on the small box and it closes its own self now this is a piece of interior design which LG really really think about it because in other kind of perspective sometimes we leave our TV on and they use so a lot of power but it's a like power saving or something which is so great and I find it it's so interesting now jumping out to the conclusion and check out the specification it's a 65 inch TV it's a 4k OLED TV and it's a piece of 2019 so LG did a great kind of job on keeping up with the TV gadgets I really really like gadgets when it comes to gadgets we keep it simple and minimal and sometimes we look upon things which has into gadget now sometimes you ask yourself what type of gadget do you really think it might be going or vibe with the same same kind of ecosystem now this mui it's called the mui company it's a mui lab uh thanks to the verge for all the caption it's so great appreciated the verge so mui made a wooden kind of smart smart uh, controller which you can control each and everything throughout your phone or throughout your google home or any kind of smart device now when it comes to interior as i said on the tv but interior plays a good kind of role because you know making a furniture out of the piece of wood and making it it looks techy it's so so nice because it captures in a different kind of angle whereby you put it on the wall or you put it somewhere underneath or the kitchen there somewhere you find it it's so interesting you will find it it's so nice because it, it it captures you in a different kind of minimal way whereby you're like 
damn this is a piece of tech so this is Mui and I really really appreciate on this kind of gadget because it's really really nice but this is a prototype so we will wait to see it fully developed perhaps in the next future or in the next couple of months whereby Mui will fix it and make things running I really appreciate that kind of project and we give it shout out to Mui so Mui keep it up and make things happen so yeah we are really really waiting out as a consumer to wait for your kind of product so yeah that's what's up the asses mothership now we've seen it asses killing it on the gaming and we saw the phone we saw a lot of things with asses now asses decided to make a desktop looking machine into a looking of a laptop what do i mean here adjusting the elephant in the room let us just see it fully now as you can see guys on this asses mothership you can just remove everything i mean you can remove a keyboard and the keyboard has a usb type c whereby you can connect it with the cable or you can use it wirelessly now sometimes this kind of piece of tech it's so interesting when whereby in every kind of different kind of aspect whereby this kind of uh, keyboard and the whole vibing of the screen it's so interesting whereby you can just remove it keep it anywhere even far away from the distance and you use it it makes the workflow so legit now even if for the gaming it's so interesting and it's killer on the next level but to my own kind of aspect the keyboard i didn't like it that much because the keyboard is not that much mechanical keyboard it feels a regular keyboard of a machine and the rgb and the chroma key i appreciate it because i'm a fan of that so we we kind of see how ss just keep it with that and underneath it there's kind of like a cooling way whereby their designs i like the way they just put the designs because they make the design look so minimal whereby you just see it's a piece of design at the back but it's a like a ventilation whereby it gives space for the machine to breathe and gives out the machine the fan whereby whenever you're playing an extensive gaming the machine that doesn't do overheating so as as you're doing a great job whereby you're keeping up with the machine now jumping out the specification of the asus pick card of asus it works in nvidia rtx 2080 which i've had it so great since we were on the last family of 1080 ti and we jumped to another next family and we until reaching out this family of nvidia graphic card so i find it in gaming it's so interesting because it pushes all the limit of gaming into a certain level whereby the machine does the job which you want it to do and another kind of stuff the processor it's a core i9 which i find it so interesting a core i9 uh, processor which it's a new kind of thing whereby all the processing power of here and there might be not might but it might be in a great kind of way whereby the handling of the gaming the performance of the machine goes correctly with how they just assembled everything and the weight of this machine it's a 4.7 kilograms now it's a little bit more heavy whereby it's uh it's it's heavy actually it's not that a little it's heavy because those kind of 4.7 kilograms you add them on your backpack and but but it's so nice as i keep it up with your products we're really really looking forward to see more and more kind of products of you so these are like my highlights on the ces 2019 i hope you guys love it and if you're new here my name is abdurrahim12 and make sure that you drop that kind of like button it would be so great and if you're new here make sure that you subscribe and that's what's up so thank you guys for watching and i'll be catching you guys on the next one and peace